I'm Brady Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Congressman Hakeem Jeffries touted the economy under the Biden administration during last week's House Budget Committee hearing. Jeffries claimed the American Rescue Plan, quote, rescued the economy at a time where it was on the brink of collapse. While the New York Democrat pointed out inflation and the baby formula shortage as challenges the U.S. faces, he said he didn't understand why Republicans have a, quote, doom and gloom outlook regarding the economy. The GOP has blamed inflation and record high gas prices squarely on the Biden administration. Let's listen in for more. For uh, your continued leadership and convening this hearing and Director Swago, thank you for uh, your presence and for the work that you do. Uh, I want to associate myself with the comments of Chairman Yarmouth uh, when he made clear that the American Rescue Plan rescued the economy at a time when it was on the brink of collapse and put us into position uh, to achieve some of the significant uh, economic growth uh, measures that have occurred at this particular point in time, as well as the record unemployment. And so I just want to uh, clarify some things that you have previously testified to. So we got uh, a real understanding as to where things are at right now. Now, I believe you previously testified that revenues uh, in the CBO's projections would reach their highest level as a share of GDP in more than two decades, is that right? Yes, sir, that's correct. Uh, and in fact, uh, they are projected to increase to 20% of GDP in 2022, which I believe is up about 17% from the previous forecast. That's right, the, the revenues will, will reach j just a slightly uh, under 20%, which is up very substantially from our, from, um, our, our previous projections. And we've seen approximately 8.3 million jobs created since President Biden first took office. Is that right? Um, uh, yes, uh, uh, employment has grown you know, very sharply as the U.S. has come out of the pandemic, um, uh, as you said, since the beginning of 2021. And is it your understanding that that 8.3 million uh, jobs that were created, that's a record uh, in American history for a similar point in time in terms of a president's new administration? Um, yeah, yes, that would be the, the most jobs created uh, in, in a single year. So that's, uh, you know, over the, the 2021, the first year of the uh, administration. Am I correct that the number of people relying on unemployment benefits has dropped to the lowest level uh, since 1970? Um, the, I'm sorry, the number of people collecting unemployment benefits um, it is, it's dropped very, uh, very substantially. Um, I, I don't know offhand if it's the lowest, but I suspect it's, uh, it, it might well be. It's, um, you know, with the, the rebound um, and the, um, the, the very strong, very tight labor market, um, we, we've seen lots of uh, uh, good outcomes, like you just mentioned. And uh, last year, how many new businesses were created in the United States of America? Uh, there's uh, the the rebound from the pandemic has led to a, a surge in business creation. Um, you know, obviously we saw businesses go out um, when the economy locked down, and then a, a huge number has have been created. I, I don't know the number of millions offhand, but it's been a um, it's just a historic uh, increase in business formation and entrepreneurship. As my understanding, that approximately 5.4 million new businesses were created. Uh, in the last year, as you indicated, a substantial uh, return of American entrepreneurship. Uh, in terms of deficit reduction, because my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, I thought were deficit hawks and cared about the deficit. That's all we heard about, certainly during the Tea Party years. Um, am I correct that in President Biden's first year, the deficit was reduced by more than $350 billion? Is that correct? Uh, yes, the, the deficit has, has uh, gone down very substantially, both um, you know from last year to this year, and compared to what um, uh, CBO had had projected, leaving aside the, the new legislation that's been enacted. And what is the uh, projected deficit reduction for uh, this current year that we're in? Um, the the deficit is falling by its um uh, I'm sorry, it's one point eight. It's about one point eight. Um, trillion dollars lower. It's going from uh, last year's about $2.8 trillion to a deficit this year of, of $1 trillion. So that's a, a reduction of $1.8 trillion from 21 to 22. So thank you for your testimony. I, you know, for the life of me, we certainly have issues that we need to deal with in terms of inflationary pressures, which as you've indicated, uh, result from 
uh, an increase in demand that happens when you have a booming economy uh, and supply chain constraints, which happens when you have an economy that has to shut down uh, as a result of a once in a century pandemic. Uh, these are challenges that, of course, we continue to work on. We also continue to work on the issue as it relates to the baby former formula shortage. I was shocked that so many of my Republican colleagues chose to vote against uh, the appropriations legislation that was brought to the floor. But for the life of me, I can't figure out the doom and gloom uh, that is going to be painted by some of my Republican colleagues. Thank you for your testimony and presenting the facts in a straightforward fashion. I yield back. Uh, the 